Here's the story of the Kick and Aid Life staff who love making weekly shows for you. For you. They were from for their last quarter. They had big plans, big plans for all of you. Oh, but then came COVID-19, and away went the world we all know. Kicking it wanted to be together, yet they were all alone. Till the one day Mrs. Fountain called a meeting, and said, come on, the show must go on. Now this group must somehow work together. To remain the one and only kicking it live, kicking it live, kicking it live. We are still here for you, kicking it live. Happy Friday, Bears. Coming up, we look at elementary distance learning. We hear from the new football coach and see what Art Takeover is doing. We will also have more greetings from the Upper Arlington High School staff. This week, there was some confusion regarding whether or not Zoom classes would be continued in UA due to reports of safety issues. Imhoff sent an email to parents stating that the UA has security settings in place and uses a version of Zoom that is compliant with FERPA to ensure the safety of teachers and students who will continue to use Zoom. Distance learning is being practiced all throughout America in all grade levels. Tad took a closer look on how elementary students are using distance learning. Due to our current circumstances, schools worldwide have made the transition into online distance learning. Ohio has nearly 1.7 million K-12 students that have been doing distance learning since March 16th. In Upper Arlington, there are 6,174 total students enrolled this school year. The UA mom, Ann Edwards, captured what distance learning looks like for her five children to show us what elementary and middle school students are doing. Similar to high school students, they are using iPads to communicate with their teachers and continue to learn their school curriculum. E -E. Everett shares what he likes about distance learning. I like having school in my room. Porter shares what he doesn't like. I really don't like that I'm always sitting in the same place all day. In the Edwards household, the kids continue to make time for recess in their yard and other relaxing activities as a break from school. This has been Tad Fountain reporting for WARL. Distance learning will be continued until at least May 1st by Governor DeWine's order. College Board sent out an email to AP students on Monday regarding new AP test dates and times. If you are an AP student and did not receive the email, go to your College Board account settings and check your email address for accuracy or you will not receive a test in May. The AP exam schedule is on Schoology. There was a live informational webinar last night regarding this year's exam format. A recording of the webinar is available on the registration link on Schoology. And now to Justin Alex with sports. Welcome to sports. The Central Ohio All-Star Preps Award Show has been moved from May 26th to June 18th as an online award ceremony available at no charge. Student athletes are recognized for their hard work and dedication in their sport during the past school year. This show will be hosted by former NFL player Jesse Palmer and ESPN anchor Sage Steely. Other celebrity presenters for the award ceremony include Drew Brees, Venus William, Gabby Douglas, Misty May Trainer, Michael Phelps, and many more. UA athletes being recognized at this award show are Grant Gooding, Hayden Jay, Jake Meyer, Avery Voss, Riley Huddleston, Garrett Olderman, and Will Cohen. Coach Spick and Coach Casey are posting at home workouts on Team Builder. The programs can be found in the training folder. If you don't have a Team Builder account or have any questions for the coaches, DM them at UA Bears Strength on Twitter. In January, it was announced that head football coach Jeremy Scally would be leaving UA for the head coach position at Hilliard Davidson. On March 25th, it was announced that Justin Buttermore would be the new head football coach. Coach Buttermore has an overall record of 151 to 55 as head coach. We'll talk to him to find out what he has in store for the future of the UA football program. Coach Buttermore is coming from Granville High School. Buttermore told me more about his family moving to Upper Arlington. We definitely will be moving to Upper Arlington. Uh, when that's all going to take place is kind of dependent on all of the things that are happening right now. But uh, without question, we want to become part of the community. We're excited to get down there and, and uh, start to meet everybody. What made you want to take the job at Upper Arlington? 
You know, it's really a combination of things. Uh, obviously, anybody that's been around Central Ohio knows that, that Upper Arlington is a great place to live and a great place to be. And, um, you know, I think that what attracted me is it, it's also a place if you're bringing your family, uh, it, it's, one of, it's one of those places that has a special kind of uh, feel in terms of great academics and great tradition in athletics. And there's just not a lot of places that are like that. Coach Buttermore talks about what he is bringing to Upper Arlington. You know, I think the number one thing that, that I want to bring is stability. There's been a lot of turnover in the football program, unfortunately, in the last several years. And that's tough on, on players. That's tough on student athletes as a whole. So certainly stability. And, and honestly, uh, my style will be different than the, the people that came before me. You know, I'm a relationship builder. And certainly I have high expectations uh, for the kids. And I'm going to demand a lot from them. Uh, but at the same time, um, you know, I've always had a great rapport with my players. Buttermore explains what his expectations are for this upcoming season. You know, I, the expectations are going to be high. I, I think that we've got some good players, and, and certainly uh, they have high expectations too. Uh, but we'll probably get around to setting goals a little bit later when I get to meet him and talk to the captains a little more. Coach Buttermore has a few words for the community. We're just excited to get down there. I know I don't know when it's going to take place. I'm excited to meet the, the players and – you know, ultimately, I think good coaching is, is good teaching. I think the, the, what makes you a successful teacher is the same thing that makes you a successful coach, and that's, you know, building great relationships and being an expert in your field. And, you know, I, I feel like that's what, what we want to be as a staff in terms of the new football staff, um, and my hope is that uh, that's what the players are looking for as well. This has been Will Reynolds reporting for the WARL. We are excited to have you, Coach Buttermore. The UA Athletic Department is highlighting the senior spring sports athletes on Twitter. Each feature includes a quote of encouragement from the senior. To see these highlights of our senior athletes, check out at UAHS Athletics. And now we would like to highlight girls lacrosse senior Elena Schoenemeyer and how their season is going under quarantine. Welcome, Elena. We heard that Lax has been trying out quarantines. How's that been going so far? Um, it's been a great way for the program to stay connected. So each senior has a team with um, all different grades and so we all compete towards each other we do challenges and then we have eight corn teams and we all compete against each other to see who can get the most points okay. very cool um what strength and conditioning have you guys been doing um so we have been receiving some lacrosse practices from coach pinta where she highlights some activities we can do conditioning we do some circuit work but we can also go outside and use our stick but we've also been able to zoom with casey the lifting coach and she was able to conduct a workout over Zoom with us. Awesome. How are the challenges with other teams going? Um, so we have only been able to challenge one team virtually, and that was New Trier from Chicago. But it was really fun. We got to um, post all of our highlights on Twitter and compete in another challenge. So we got to go outside and use our sticks. But it was really fun. We got to um, highlight a lot of our players as well. All right, well, thanks for tuning in with us. Now let's check out some new moves from the LAX team that they have learned this quarantine. And now to Max and Ava with Community News. Welcome to Community. This week, Wycliffe Elementary put together a video commemorating the passing of the beloved principal, Chris Kolaras, one year ago. The theme of the video is Love Out Loud Forever. Students, staff, and friends came together to make signs and show their love for Mr. Kolaras and his family. Construction of the high school is moving along and is still on schedule. The roof and exterior sheathing walls are going up as they are working towards getting the building dried in. Earlier this week, Mr. Potts updated Kicking It staff with pictures of the progress and stating that the most important thing is that the Rosilli team is staying safe, healthy, and productive during this time. While construction seems to be operating normally, restaurants have been forced to adjust business. Sydney Lape checks in with Tina Elsie from Cafe Da Vinci's to see what is happening. Located on Zollinger and Tremont, Cafe Da Vinci has recently made changes to adapt to the pandemic. Now we are to curbside only. We don't even let people come in. 
Uh, we want all of our people to wear masks and uh, gloves. And uh, everybody's doing a great job. I mean, everybody's working together. We did add like pizza kits, which have been very popular because, you know, kids can really make their own pizzas. And, and it's really funny because I read something uh, in one of the forums the other day that said, oh, my God, my kids will never eat frozen pizza again. Because, you know, it's not that hard to make and we give you all the supplies. So that's been going really well. Additionally, an anonymous donor has also allowed Da Vinci's to donate over 500 meals to the community. We've had... 300 people at the um, at a uh, food food shelter type thing uh, downtown, and that was amazing. And then, of course, we also fed uh, the police department of Arlington and you know, and the fire people. And we're trying to get a lot of those first responders. So part of the donations were caller donations that people started calling in, and we just talked to the people about who they're giving the free food to, like Arlington doctors or people who are like essential workers and doing a lot of business. Because we, we just don't, we don't know. We don't know how far some people are having it. So thanks to this donor, it's been a real blessing. This has been Sydney Lee reporting for the WARL. Orders for Cafe Da Vinci can be placed online or over the phone. DeWine reminds Ohioans this week to complete the U.S. Census and to beat Michigan's percentage. Right now, Michigan is at 55%, and Ohio is trailing shortly behind at 52.2%. You can take the census by mail or online at 2020census.gov. If you forgot about the census, you might have also forgotten this week was supposed to be tax week. But to relieve stress, the deadline is moved to July 15. The Buckeye Country Music Festival with headliners Kenny Chesney and Florida Georgia Line is the latest marquee summer event to be canceled. If you were planning to go, refunds are available through the point of purchase. Now let's toss it to Sydney with Positive Impact. Welcome back to Positive Impact. On Monday, a regular customer at the goodie shop offered to pay $1,000 for one donut to help out the business. This good news made it on the Today Show on Thursday. Manager Emily Smith said that the donation helped her play employees with little stress. Over the past month, restaurants and corporations have released their secret recipes. Doubletree by Hilton released their famous chocolate chip cookie recipe. Disney Parks released the recipes to their famous churro bites, grilled cheese, and Dole Whip. And local restaurant Fox in the Snow shared its popular buttermilk biscuit recipe. The recipes can be found on their websites. If you're looking for other ways to stay creative outside the kitchen, check out Art Takeover. Art Takeover hosted their kickoff event in the second floor LC on Sunday, March 8th, just days before spring break. Junior Natalie Harrison was inspired by a 2019 Idea Day session and started the project. Yeah, like, take this, like the opportunity of the building not being here in a few years to just make art out of it because it's going to be torn down anyway. If students have like an idea for the art takeover and let's say they want to like paint the bathroom stalls or they want to make a sculpture out of old chairs that the school's going to be throwing away, then they take an application, they fill it out, and then they submit it to us and then kind of look over it and see, okay, like what is their objective and like is like the idea of like cool would this would be a cool idea and if we get it approved by like the board then we can give them the money and the funding and they can make the art project happen. Since students are unable to be in the building art takeover looks quite different but it's still active. Cool so we had posted a few drawing prompts every day that people could like little drawing challenges that they could do on their own and then submit to us so that was just one of the ways that we've been trying to keep people engaged in art and people engaged in our project. Find them on Instagram at UA underscore Art Takeover. This has been Jen Gomez for WARL. Art Takeover is in the works of making a scavenger hunt in collaboration with Love Out Loud centered around positivity and love. Prizes involve gift cards to local businesses. Stay tuned for more information. On April 9th, Hoy Elementary School in Columbus held a free market to give essentials to families in the area. The food was donated from 31 Gifts Cafeteria after its warehouse was shut down. Last month, two young siblings in Clintonville, Ohio, wanted to bring joy to their elderly neighbor who is self-quarantining. The two held a 30-minute concert on their cellos. The neighbor said that, that in response that she loves all the children and loves the music. Lastly, our inspiration for this portion of the show, John Krasinski, announced yesterday that he will be hosting a virtual prom tonight at 8 p.m. Students can access it on the Some Good News website on YouTube. 
And now back to me. Seniors, administration met with a few students on Monday to begin to figure out ways to still honor and celebrate you over graduation weekend or in the future. Seniors can still order a yard banner from the PTO website. Orders must be placed by May 11th and money goes to the class of 2020 reunion fund. Many colleges across the U.S., including Ohio University and the University of Akron, have extended their commitment deadline to June 1st. Alex will get in touch with Dr. Moore next week for more information on admissions, orientations, and tours. Next week, we will look at the Civic Association and some construction updates. Have a great weekend, Bears. Thanks for tuning in, and now for more special messages from the UAHS staff. Good morning, Bears. Can't tell you how much I miss you. One of the favorite parts of being in education is being with kids all the time. Keeps us young, despite what the beard tells you. Seniors, I really feel for you. I wish there was something we could do for you. Hang in there. Remember, it's 90% how you respond to the things that happen to us. Be bare strong, and seniors, finish strong. Miss you. Hi, everyone. I miss you. I'm really enjoying doing some of my schoolwork outside on the porch. Hey Golden Bears, Mrs. Heil here. I hope you are all staying safe and healthy. Hi everyone. Keep calm and carry on. Hopefully we'll all be together soon. Hey Golden Bears, this is Dr. Moore. I miss you all so much. I cannot wait to see you again. I cannot wait to get back to normalcy. I hope that you're all doing well. Enjoy the time with your families. Be kind, stay safe. Take care. Hey UA students, Cornwall here. I sure miss seeing you all. I hope you're doing well. You're getting outside and enjoying the weather. I know I sure am. Stay safe and I hope to see you soon. Hey there Bears, it's Mrs. DeRamo. Hope everyone's doing well. Sure do miss seeing you every day. Take care. Hi everybody, it's Mrs. Deal. I certainly miss all of your faces in the LC and I hope that you are all healthy and doing well and staying active. I just want you to know that if you need any assistance with your research or citations or little tech tips with your technology, I'm happy to help you. There's a link on Schoology to schedule an appointment with me. And I certainly miss everybody's faces and to you seniors, it's been a great four years. Hopefully we'll see you before graduation, but if not, take care and stay in touch.